What's going on, guys? Level M Diecast. We are going to check out Hitch and Toe Series 22 from Greenlight. Uh, just finally put the set together. This has been out for a little bit. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to get this set than normally. Um, Greenlight's a little harder to come by, obviously, with uh, with the lack of uh, Hobby Lobby and all that stuff like that. So um, there are four models, just like every other series. These are your four sets on the back. Jeep F-150, Chevy, and Blazer. Um, this is M-108, so it's a truck. Military truck. Um, so we're going to crack these open. Uh, these are um, kind of an old school vibe to them. Um, so this is a 99, 1990 K5 Blazer. Uh, we're going to crack that guy open. Uh, we're also going to crack open this m1008 truck um this is military spec um so you guys are going to notice on this particular one um in all that green light glorious quality um this guy is missing the light on the top so you can see right there uh, this guy does not have the light on the top uh fortunately i if it's not a casting i collect um i just buy these for the trailers so i just want the trailer so not a big deal, but that is frustrating that the uh, light is gone. Um, we will crack this open and see if maybe it's rolling around inside the package, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, we're going to do this one. i um, particularly pretty stoked about this because this is a brand new trailer. Uh, this is a brand new trailer for this release. Um, quarter ton military cargo trailer on this 43 wheelies. Looks pretty good. Very tiny. Huge package, a little tiny, tiny vehicle. Um, and then this is the last one. This guy is the uh, car hauler flatbed. Uh, this is the F-150 Ranger 1976. Looks pretty good, but uh, I don't collect Fords, and uh, I definitely don't collect this cast from Greenlight. So we're going to take these, and I'm going to take this. And uh, I'm going to do some damage. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We got all these chopped up. Got these all laid out in their clamshells. So we're just going to take a look at these. Um, I'm just going to go through these. So this just folds out the front. Pull this trailer out. Um, I'm going to pull this M1000 truck out. And... Uh, it is not in the package, so I did not get the light at all. Didn't even make it into the package, but, you know, that's okay. Take a look at this guy. 3978 is the number on the bottom. Uh, plastic base. Oh, that's metal. It's metal. Um, it's interesting. Take a look at the front end. You see the bow tie in there. I don't know a whole lot about the uh, Chevy trucks. I'm not a Chevy guy, but looks it looks okay. It looks okay. Uh, tires look a little skinny to me. Um, looking at that logo. So, it looks pretty good. This is uh, officially SEMO Communications trailer. So, And then, as usual with the Hitch and Toes, just going to... Grab the tape, get the little stand out of there, throw this away, I'm going to throw this directly in there, hopefully this works. It's going, it's, it's, it's taking a sweet time, but it's, it's going, sort of, maybe. Let me know what you guys think about these hitches, man. I, I've had the worst luck with these hitches. Um, they just don't want to communicate, or they just don't want to cooperate. I don't know about you guys, but they're just pain in my pain in my butt. Um, I've already kind of bent the crap out of this one already. I'm um, just trying to get it in there. So let me just back it out a little bit. This almost feels like it's plastic. As a matter of fact, let me let me look at that real quick and get this out of there. 
This is plastic. So these are not metal anymore. This is plastic, guys. This this bends. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not a fan of that. Not a fan of that. Uh, we'll take a look at this trailer real quick, though. Uh, New York State Emergency Management Office. Looks all right. Looks all right. That's it's. This trailer has been around billions of years, and there's billions of versions. Um, looks good though. Still functions. Got your. I don't know if you want to call that an air conditioning unit or just a cleaner on the top. Um, this is pretty common. Uh, scuffs and stuff on the top. Uh, usually, if you clean this up a little bit, most of them go away. But uh, like this one right here, definitely will not go away. That'll be there forever. Um, the rest of the tampos look pretty good though. Not bad. Uh, not, nothing really on the base. And then, uh, so these are blue wheels painted black. It's kind of weird. So there's the trailer. Definitely uh, can't believe that's plastic. Can't believe that's plastic. Um, and then uh, real quick, I don't know if the hood opens on this truck. We'll take a look real quick just to see. Nope, hood doesn't open, so... Looks pretty good though. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think it looks. I think it looks all right. I have to figure out that hitch though for sure. Move that guy over there. Uh, we're gonna jump into the other Chevy. This is also another New York model. Uh, New York Police small cargo trailer with this one, with the K5 Blazer. Little plastic piece on the front. Throw that away. Slide this guy out. Hold the truck in there so I can slide the trailer and then slide this guy out. And then another hitch, which I'm sure this one's going to be plastic too because there be no sense in one being plastic and none of the rest of them being plastic. Um, get that guy folded in the tape. All right. <clears throat> so... Yep, they're they're plastic. They're plastic. Okay, all right. Take a look at the trailer real quick. Sorry guys, I I got really sidetracked. I can't believe that those stands are plastic. That's that's just crazy. It's crazy. Uh, looking at the tampo, this looks pretty good. I like the black scheme. Looks nice. You got your shield there, looking pretty good. Utica Police. Um, I've seen a lot of these, and most of the lights are pretty crooked. Mine are not terrible. Uh, but, you know, all these pieces don't fit very well. They're kind of rushed and put on there quickly. Uh, you can see all the residue from when they glued it on the top. Just really, really bad quality from Greenlight. It's, I mean, it's getting worse and worse by each release. Um, you can see a lot of the residue from all the super glue in there as well. You know, it's, it's, getting, it's getting a little bad, getting a little bad. Fortunately, the trailer still functions. I'm happy about that. Uh, this is actually earmarked to be numbered, but they are not numbered. It's kind of interesting. So, same wheels as the other trailer. These are just not painted. Um, and it's just this one piece is metal, the rest of it's plastic. So, it's, it's pretty lightweight. It's pretty lightweight, but it's not bad. Uh, take a look at the Blazer, because this is obviously what you guys are going to want to see. Um, the original seller I got the other three from, not this set, but the other three, uh, this one was gone. So, I mean, this, this particular casting is pretty popular. It's pretty popular with green light. Uh, so we got lights here, and then we got one light on the clamshell here. Uh, unit 147. I like the wheels. I like how the hub is just painted in there. Looks really good. Got some BF Goodrich All Terrains. Looking at the back, it's pretty nice. A lot of residue, but it looks pretty nice. Like the Chevy right there on the aluminum panel. Looks pretty good. Mirror to the other side. And we saw the front, really good tampo prints. Looks really, really, really good. Really like it. And then, of course, this guy, clamshell comes off. And he's got a spare tire in there. And that spare tire is even painted up the same, which is very, very nice. It's not just, just black or anything. It's actually got the silver hub in there, which is pretty sweet. And it's got your one bench seat in there. This is a pretty good model. Uh, looking at the base of this guy, 575. Pretty low number. It's a pretty low number. So not bad, not bad. Be cool to get number one forty-seven. That'd have been just kind of, kind of cool. 
but I would have opened it anyway. So, and like I said, I buy these for the trailer. So like this model will find its way into somebody else's hands as well as that other Chevy. Um, the only one that I would keep is the is the uh, Jeep. Uh, we're going to take a look at this guy just chilling here. Just taking a look. Looks pretty good. Looks looks all right. Looks all right. I like it. Um, this one rolls pretty good. Not perfect. You can see the wheels lock up on the trailer. Um, see the wheels kind of lock up on the truck too. A little bit. It's one of the problems with Greenlight. I mean, they, they literally, literally for sure are not meant to be opened. And if you do, they're meant to just sit on a shelf. Uh, we're going to go on to the third one here. This is the 76 Ranger XLT uh, trailer special. Interesting. Uh, and then this is just this flatbed trailer that's been around forever. A little plastic piece to hold it on there. This is your trailer. We'll pop out the little ramp pieces. Bam, bam. Uh, these have always been plastic, so nothing to report there. We'll slide this guy out. We'll pull out our super crappy plastic uh, trailer stand. Um, I don't know if they went to plastic because it might be a little easier to get the stands in there, but... I mean, all you're going to do is just chew these up to get them in there. You're just going to chew those up. It is what it is. So we'll take a look at this uh, 76 F-150. Uh, it does look really, really good. <clears throat> I especially like the bumper. Bumper looks pretty good. Uh, I like the bumper pushers here. Um, it's a pretty good casting. I mean, it's a really good casting. Uh, just something I just don't collect. Just don't collect. Got your logo there. Ranger XLT. See what kind of kind of cooperation I get. There we go. Ranger XLT looks pretty good. Get your logo right there. F-150 on the fender. Taking a look at the back. You know, just just Ford, just Ford. Uh, pretty appropriate color. Pretty pretty appropriate scheme. Little uh little tan little uh paint missed in the corners of the bed, but that's that's not a big deal. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nitpick about that. Uh, taking a look at the base. So this base is modified uh, for all kinds of stuff. Look at the tire. That's all right. I can fix the tire. Tire is not a big deal. Slide that on there. There we go. Uh, this is also, this is done up for all kinds of attachments and to make it lifted and stuff like that. Um, it's raw. The base is raw. It's not painted or finished or anything. Um, and I think the number is supposed to be here. But just can't get the. You can kind of see where there should be some tampo there, uh, for the number. But unfortunately, this guy is going to be unnumbered because uh, it just doesn't show up, which just doesn't show up. So it's all right though. It's I like how this is kind of designed so that they can stamp the bed separately from the cab, so that these are actually literally two pieces. I do like the green light does that. It's pretty nice. Uh, the trailer, you guys have seen the trailer. It's, you know, it's whatever. It's unnumbered. So, axles seem a little bit longer than normal. Um, it's always got this wood uh, detail on there. And then the ramps, you're just going to snap them on the end. Fold them up. So, what I do is when I snap them in, I kind of kind of wiggle it a little bit as I bring it up. Because um, they want to snap, or they want to pull right back out. So, let's see how that works. Snap them in there, and then just kind of, kind of work it a little bit as it goes up. There we go. So, pretty thin pieces of plastic, but uh, they work out. They work out pretty good. Um, there's always been some tampa print on these uh, fenders for a marker light, and then it does have some tail light marker tampos on the back. But I mean, it's it's extremely minimum, extremely minimum. Um, I just want to see if I might be able to get this one in there. I can't believe these are plastic. I can't believe these are plastic. I'm blown away that these are plastic. It kind of goes in there. There it goes. There it goes. Now we get it in there. Okay. So that one went in there. I mean, if they would have started plastic, that would have been fine. But now that they're switching to the plastic, it kind of... It kind of kills it. it kind of kills it for me. So there's that guy. Beat him to. You know what? Let's let's just 
get some help get some focal in here. There we go. That's that's the fam so far, but we got one more. Uh, this is the 43 Willys MB Jeep with quarter ton, uh, ton cargo trailer. Uh, this is the one that I particularly was looking forward to. I uh, definitely wanted to check this one out. Uh, love everything military. Love World War II. Um, so another version of the Jeep is always good. So we'll slide him out. And then, of course, this is a brand new casting on this trailer. Get this to there we go. This slide out. Uh, we'll pull out our plastic trailer hitch. Uh, this one is green. Uh, just verify. Yep, still plastic. Still plastic. Uh, let's take a look at the trailer real quick. This is a brand new trailer. Um, it's very basic. Um, let me go with the tires again. There we go. How crooked that is. It's all right. It'll it'll work its way out. Um, it's it's pretty small. It's pretty small. But the good thing is, um, it's all metal. So metal base and the trailer itself is metal you got some light detail tampos around here uh not bad it's not bad it's pretty good it's pretty good we'll take a look at the jeep real quick this is a new version new deco i especially like the fact that the undercarriage is sprayed um it's it's a separate piece um there's several pieces to this uh, but they actually do spray that silver piece. It looks really, really good. You can barely see in there. 1189 is the number hidden down in there. And then, of course, the whole uh, uh, rolling chassis is a separate piece. This is such a good casting. It's such a good casting. Um, it is tiny, and there's a lot of you know fragile parts on it. But you know that's what it is. Uh, trailer hitch is painted green to match. Looks pretty good. Super fine detail in there. There's no way I could get in there at that detail. That is fantastic. I love it. Uh, and, of course, this top does come off. Um, it just lifts straight up. It is not attached at all. Uh, you got uh, different colored seats in there, which is pretty cool. And then um, you got your gas can on the back, your spare tire. Uh, no moving features uh, like hoods or anything. But, like I said, this just sits on there. There's the two marks in the windshield. And then it just sits right behind the uh, spare tire. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to slide these guys back just a little bit. Put this guy right in the front with the trailer on it. Um, this one actually kind of snaps in there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's intentional or accidental, but can't say that about any of the other hitch and tow trailers. So, get that guy going on there. Get a little bit of, little bit of movement down here for you guys, so we get a better, better look at what we got here. So that's Hitch and Toad Series Twenty Two. Um, I particularly like this one. It's very, very good. Um, this guy is pretty good. I like the deco scheme. Looks really nice. Um, the trailer's enormous in comparison to the size of the blazer though uh, you can tell it's just it's crazy and then this one uh, this trailer's kind of run its course i think you know they they either need to find something to put on here or figure out some way to change it up maybe put some uh, attachments at the front or something but that trailer is super boring but this this is a good version for the truck it's a pretty good version uh and then this guy Got to love uh, green light um, quality. So this guy is missing one of these these little lights right here. So that guy's missing that. And uh, this trailer is always good to get a new version. This one, you know, for as old as this trailer is from very first series, there's never enough decos. Never enough decos. So it actually looks pretty good. Very happy with it. So I'll have to get all these uh, hitches in there for all these guys. But we'll get a little... Uh, Little little showcase display, show off little thingy going on there. So it looks pretty good though. It's a pretty good release. Um, nothing compared to what Series Twenty Three and Twenty Four are going to be, but those are not out yet. So 
there you go. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, appreciate you watching. Um, I just can't believe that these uh, these guys are plastic. Can't believe that those guys are plastic. But you know what? Maybe it might be easier to get them in. I don't know. You guys watched me try to put it in that one, and it just it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening. So, anyways, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Just just click done. Just bam bam done. Anyways, level in. Thanks guys. Peace.